So how did I get out of that jam with Gunzo? Find out right now with episode five. The indescribable chocolate. Oh, God. Uh, wh what was I doing just now? Uh, that's right. I was showing Mr. Minetti's guest to the middle school. Then, then I found a pretty feather. Then, what happened next? I feel like I cracked out. Hmm? Is that Gunza over there? <laughs> Yay! Yeah! Yay! He finally joined up! Hey, look at this! I found this feather all by myself! Look, look out behind you! Get ready for my love tackle! Oh god. Oh. 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 Oh, fine. I give up. <laughs> Jesus! What was that tackle all about? More importantly, though. <laughs> I love you! I love you! <sighs> you just need to rough him up a bit. He's blocking all your attacks. I shouldn't be surprised. He has a rugby player and all. He's so cool. Now's not the time for that! can't keep this up though, Brandon! Are you ready? Cause here I come! Gunzo's coming in full steam! Oh god! Oh, it would be... Gunzo's coming in full steam ahead! Uh oh. You can't avoid his love. <laughs> Help! Ah! I love you! Honestly, how pathetic! How pathetic! Screaming about love! Oh my gosh, another cool cat emerges. Has that woke you up now, huh, Gunzo? Uh, what was I doing just now? Ashigara, did I do something? Oh, how you disappoint me. You of all! How could you turn your back on the anti-Valentine Alliance? You can burn in hell! Die, 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 die! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Stop it with the bear hug! I don't know what happened. You're breaking my bones! <sighs> there are still so many affected by the feathers, though. All the other strong ones, similar to Guzo, who can affect our attacks? <laughs> Until now, we've mostly been fighting off civilians. Some of them were strong, but as a whole, our opponents were pretty weak. Yeah. Their defensive abilities are so deeply ingrained, they're practically instinctive. That's why I asked Ashigara and the others to help. But, Mr. Mineki, you should stay back. Something really bad has happened. It's all right, Kuma. I can never abandon my precious students. Now, Ashigara, how about you release Gunza? I would prefer to avoid violent solutions like this. However, we must fight fire with fire, power with power. Citri, you mentioned that a strong foe could deflect your attacks. However, we have strong allies on our side as well. Their strength can't be met. I want you to show them what you're capable of. Do not worry though. If you're hurt, I'll help you make I'll help make you all better.
Let us begin the treatment. Show your combined strength. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have full on tackled you. Even though we weren't the I shouldn't have full on tackled you. Even though we weren't playing a match. <laughs> I'm lying. Ow. <laughs> I really think you'd like rugby. You'd be perfect for it. Did you finish everything you came here for? Um, I'll see you again, yeah? This isn't goodbye, right? You're wonderful. You're wonderful too. I love playing rugby with you. Let's hang out again sometime. I'll be looking forward to it. <sighs> that was amazing. Sports are so cool. <clears throat> We've recovered a lot of feathers. I'd say maybe around 70%. The only problem though, how do we drain their mass? How do we drain their magic? <laughs> I might need to ask my mom or sister how I can get them back. This is gonna get all naggy and mom's gonna spank me. Ugh. This sucks. This sucks. It's all my fault though. I need to take responsibility. If I really wanna be a cool cat, I gotta take care of this quickly and thoroughly. Oh, this is the worst. Hey, welcome back. Huh? Who's that? A middle schooler? So your name's Century. You went to school with Kingo? Nice to meet you. I'm Ryota Yakushimaru. You can call me Ryota. N nice to meet you. <laughs> no need to be shy. Any friend of Kingo's is a friend of mine. I'm not shy. Don't be weird. Speaking of weird, what are you doing eating chocolate out here? You want some? It's really good. No thanks. Cool cats like me don't eat chocolate. Cool. Cats? You know it. I don't eat sweet stuff of any kind, including chocolate, cookies, and marshmallows. Even though I hate sweets and Valentine's Day, my classmates always ask for my feathers as a kind of good luck charm. It's so stupid. There's nothing cool about them. Why can't cool cats eat sweet things? That's just how it is. It's just not what cool cats like me do. We're tough on ourselves, and kind to others. We have good manners and love foods without an ounce of sugar in them. That's who I want to be, so I definitely don't need sweet... Huh? huh? You decided you wanted it after? You wanted it after? Don't be stupid! This is the smell, Brandon. That time in Shinjuku! That idle meet and greet! And even the sports school! I got the scent of this chocolate each time! Must be something special about this chocolate! Ryota, this chocolate... <laughs> Sorry. You got chocolate on your cheek, Ryota. Hmm? Oh, I guess I do! Can you wipe it away from me? Thanks. <laughs> If you want chocolate, I bet you could get some from Shiro right right now. I'll go with you. Shiro's chocolate is super popular. He gives it out to everyone and shows them how to make it. Some students from Daikayama Academy came by just a bit ago and got a bunch of it. That school sure is amazing. It's super fancy, even though it's right in the middle of a city. A 
bunch of their students are famous too. One of them is an active idol, and another is a magazine model who runs a cafe. Shinya is a magazine model? Shinya's a magazine model? Or is it Tarumaiti? Or is it... It can't be Kalki. This, this needs investigation. Even the ones who came here had that famous vibe. They said they're, they're fencers or something. Apparently, they need a whole ton of chocolate for a Valentine's Day event at their, their school is hosting. Ugh, no good. There's still something missing. The flavor is phenomenal, but it still lacks something. Perhaps that really is a necessary ingredient. It's mentioned in the, my book's recipe, but I couldn't find it. Any, I couldn't find any anywhere, so I just kept searching for a substitute instead. Oh, it's useless. What am I supposed to do? Choji, tell me! <laughs> oh, don't get your apron in a knot. Cooking is all about getting the timing and process down pat. Especially when, de especially when dealing with sweets. You'll be fine. When has baking ever let you down before? Let's go ahead and try the next flavor. How about this one? Oh, thank you. Perhaps this interesting liquid I got from Anvari will do the trick. Why? It's so gloomy and miserable in here. What did what? Did the light bulbs all burn out at once? Are you out the black magic or something? Uh, uh, who are you? Wait, black magic? Absolutely not! No, I can't deny that the atmosphere makes it seem like we're having a seance in here. We're only making sweets. Delicious chocolate that will make everyone happy. Where are all those weird demon things then? And their faces are hit even hidden in shadows. You can't lie to me. <laughs> there, there. They're all very fine demons. You're not weird in the least. Don't cry now. I have no idea who you are, young feline. However, I will not forgive you for referring to my precious devils as weird demon things. If I asked them to carry the chocolate, they would topple over because of their short limbs. Not to mention, eat it themselves. Still, they work hard and admirably for me, so for you to disparage them in such a way is inexcusable. I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm really... I'm real sorry I called him weird. You're back, Brandon. Sorry, the chocolate I'm making for you still isn't finished. I still feel there's something missing. We just need one final ingredient and it would be perfect. Uh, can we turn on the lights? Huh? It's already pitch black outside? I'm so focused on cooking, I guess I didn't notice. <sighs> hmm, I see. The magic within those wings has gone wild. That's gotta be the cause of all this ruckus that's been going on since yesterday. You really are a magnet for trouble, aren't you, Brandon? Hey. Um, can I ask a question? Who's the other cook? Right, you haven't been introduced yet. This is Choji Limori, right from the cooking club. I also help out in the dining hall. Nice to meet you. His cooking skills are unmatched. He's been advising me on the making of my chocolate. Anyway, from everything I've heard, this doesn't seem to have anything to do with us. We haven't left this room in days. Yeah, Shu and I have been cooking in here the whole time. This smell, though. I know it's a match. The Mysterians have, sharp, have a sharp sense of smell. I don't mean to dispute that, however... I apologize, but could anyone not baking please leave? I have to finish this chocolate. The test batches I made have been fine. However, I can't obtain the final ingredient to make the perfect chocolate. They tasted perfect to me. Do you really need anything else? What is it you need? I know the name of the ingredient. It's just a matter of how to get my hands on it. The 
final ingredient is a griffin feather. Bruh. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, I think that was so shocking. My wings just popped out. Y you, those wings. Those must be the griffin feathers that my book is talking about. There's no mistaking it. They're the ones that are written about in the recipe of my sacred artifact. Shiro. Shiro. You have the final ingredient for my true love's chocolates! Hold up! Show me that book! <laughs> it's... it's this book right here. Is something wrong? Is something wrong?! This recipe is totally sus! If you're mixing feathers into chocolate, what else is there?! I am Newt?! Don't be ridiculous. I would never put something so unsanitary into food, particularly if I were going to give it to someone else. Hygiene and proper handling of food are vital when cooking. That's why I have Choji supervising me. There are a few secret ingredients in the recipe, but the rest you can get in the grocery store. Of course, even the secret ingredients are typical things like coffee, milk, and so on. That's really ordinary for a magical tone. Well, now that I know that the griffin feathers are from your wings, I don't give up. Really? You're not gonna try and rip them out or something? Of course I'm not! I'm, as a cook, I refuse to mix ingredients that aren't foodstuffs. Choji and I thought it would be just it would be just a name, like the bear claws or moose tracks. Trust me, putting it putting actual griffin feathers in the chocolate is out of the question. <laughs> hey, Shiro! Do you have a second? What is it now, Ryota? It's just that this conversation looks like it could get a bit long. Is it okay if I snack on some chocolate while we talk? I'll save my comments on that for later. Is there anything else? Actually, yeah. That pot of chocolate has been bubbling for a while now. Is that okay? Bubbling up? I already took it off the fire, though. Hang on. Chocolate isn't supposed to bubble in the first place. You just melt it in hot water, so it shouldn't be bu so it shouldn't be bubbling at all. I don't know anything about making chocolate, so. <laughs> so what's happening then? <sighs> Quick, get away from the pot! I'm not sure what's going on, but I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no! <laughs> Take it! <laughs> the chocolate! It's turning into a giant blob! It's resonating with my wings and the feathers in the box? I get it now. It wasn't that my feathers were attracted to the chocolate, the chocolate was attracting my feathers! The reason my feathers were stuck to boxes of chocolate was because of. The chocolate inside was drawing them in! That can't be true! All the ingredients in that chocolate were brought at, uh, were bought at a grocery store! Chocolate shouldn't draw things in like that! Impossible! You know what's going on, Shiro? It must be the instructions in this tone. There are a few steps that seem unusual for just making, just making chocolate. Sounds like the recipe in your sacred art of fact was actually artifiction <laughs> somebody shoot him out what you hit me for thank you <laughs> it must be what the devils were doing when we were mixing the chocolate when we were making the chocolate for example the third paragraph of page 242 stay keep reading Page 242 states, While melting and stirring the chocolate, your contracted devils must join in a circle around the cauldron, dancing and pour pouring their magical energies into the mixture. <sighs> I 
just watched and smiled, assuming that they were bored and playing a game. I didn't realize that they were actually pouring their magic into chocolate! Depending on the instructions you follow, the same ingredients can become a whole new dish. Panacotta and Bavoris have the same ingredients, but they're completely different. I have no idea what either of those things are. That's exactly what makes cooking so interesting! Ah, enough chatter! What do we do? It's coming for us! Get behind me! I'll keep cool! Let's do this, Citri. Yeah, let's go! Cool cats, time to pounce! Cthulhu, right eye, Naga, Naga, Tadagi, Dead Cthulhu, Dead Cthulhu, Wake Streamer. Really? Is it over? No! It, its skin is really bouncy! I don't think our attacks are doing anything! Dead Again. <laughs> wait, I wait, I hate chocolate. <laughs> Dang it! No, say thing, please. Citri! Uh -oh. I'll save you! Ow! Are you alright, Citri? I don't know, but now I'm pissed! Take it easy! Hmm? Do you hear a voice? Is this telepathy? The voice is bypassing my ears and going directly to my head. I... I'm a... cool cat! I want to be... tough! Huh? Huh? And that voice sounded exactly like Citri! I wonder if that thing absorbed his power when it swallowed him just now. I want... everyone to think I'm cool! I want... to be a cool cat just like my friends! I want to eat my favorite foods, those sweet, melty... Gooey chocolate. I want chocolate! Cool cats can't eat chocolate though. Only kids like chocolate. I can't believe a cool cat like me wants to eat chocolate. It's so embarrassing. So stupid! I still want it so bad though. I want to stuff my face with it without any shame. Ah! Cut it out! Stop! Lies! No lies! A cool cat like me wouldn't, wouldn't want any chocolate! I never once, never, ever, ever, ever wanted to eat anything like chocolate, even a little bit! I want chocolate. Shut up already! Stop looking at me like you pity me! I'm a cool cat, damn it! I'm serious! I never, never! Wanted to eat! <laughs> ah, crap! That's why I gotta do this. I'll make everyone eat chocolate, whether they want it, whether they want to or not. Even if everyone is eating chocolate, I can eat all I want without being embarrassed. 
Uh, oh. <clears throat> if everyone is eating chocolate, I can eat all I want without being embarrassed. I just want to be able to eat delicious chocolate without hiding it. I want everyone to eat chocolate. W w wait! I never thought that last bit. Sure, I want to eat chocolate, but I'm not going to bring anyone else into it. That'd be as uncool as it gets. Uh, Shagoth. A black amorphous life form. Is this thing a Shagoth? A Shagoth, huh? Uh, what's wrong, Shiro? Why are you just standing there flipping through your book? Okay. Oh, um, I think that chocolate phantom may perhaps be a Shagoth. Shagoths are familiars created by the elder th things that inhabit another world. They are dark, black, amorphous life forms and can change shape at will. Anyone who is familiar with the occult knows of them, so naturally, I know them as well. I had no intentions of creating a Shagoth. Uh, possibly I um the recipe in my book. I was decoding the words while cooking, so it's possible I made some errors. How disorganized are you? The ingredients were all used. The ingredients all were all ones used in normal chocolate. Hmm. I wonder if that's it. I must have misread the recipe name. Shagoth and chocolate do have phonetic similarities, after all. I'm sorry. I'm sure before translation they do, but in but in English, no, they don't. Feel the wrath of my nerd decimating cool cat punch! <laughs> what the hell? You embarrassed me for nothing? I blame it on Aramic writing being so complicated. Moreover, mistranslations are quite common when translating between two such different cultures. So the reason this thing seems to have two motives mixed together, don't tell me it's... This is just conjecture, however... Shagoths were originally created by a being with the power of a god. Adding intelligence to an amoeba is certainly the work of gods. This means that by all rights, a human who doesn't hold such power shouldn't be capable of producing such a creature. However, this would be different with, for instance, a rule that binds. That must be why the recipe requires griffin feathers. Shagoths are familiars which were created to be used as slaves. They are born to carry out the wishes of their master. However, it appears that the binding rule has bound centuries in my desires, so to speak. My desire is to give delicious chocolate to everyone, and centuries' desires to feel like it's acceptable to eat delicious chocolate. These two wishes became bound together to create the Shagoth's motive. It wishes to make everybody eat delicious chocolate. If everyone is eating it, then it won't be embarrassing. That must be it! Time for my nerd and out! Time for my nerd and annihilating cool cat kick! <laughs> What's up with this guy? Did he study so hard his brain burned out? Uh. <laughs> oh. I mean, you just caught him on a bad day. He's usually alright, but when he goes overboard, he goes all the way. Can I move now? W w were you waiting for us? There's nothing cool about surprise attacks. I feel like I could get along well with this thing. <laughs> they copied your personality when it absorbed the power from your feathers. We can point fingers later. Let's stop this monster before it can cause trouble. It's already caused deep trouble! Sure, I guess this was all caused by my feathers, but STILL! Alright everyone, time for dessert! Chocolate Splash! 
Oh, wow, I don't mean to boast, but my chocolate's pretty good. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help. Shiro? Sh Shiro? Uh, you okay, buddy? Your eyes are so focused. Uh-oh. I can't hold back these desires. Well, look up inside me. This can't possibly be the power of the chocolate. Yes, these must be my own feelings. Please accept them, Brandon. Like he doesn't even notice we're here. That passion. He's a true cool cat. Uh, no! Help! 